What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video is Mayor Theory number three, and the song is Last Train Home. Let's go. Well, all right, guys. Today's video, Mayor Theory, Last Train Home. What a song, everything we expected from the first single off of Sob Rock. So the main goal for today's video is not how to do a ripping solo over the progression, right? There are a lot of videos on YouTube about that already. The main focus of the video for today is looking at the progression, right, triads, because this is all triad progression, right? Root third fifths. Seeing how we can layer four guitar parts doing the exact same progression, different areas of the fingerboard can make one big sounding guitar part. We'll then look at the pre-chorus slash chorus progression, specifically the second time around because there are some really cool keyboard voicings that Greg Fillingains does. We'll finally look at these really cool stabs during the solo section. And then finally, some ideas that we can work on over the solo section that mix both minor and major pentatonic. So with all that being said, let's dive into it. So first up, let's talk about this main progression that we all loved now. And I took the chorus off so it's clearer. Um, a really cool thing about this progression is that it's repeating the same three chords, A, E, B, but doing it in a way that it descends voicings, right? Which is really, really cool. And there's so many ways that we can approach the same progression using just root third fifth triads, right? Which I highly encourage you guys to figure out everywhere on the fretboard where you can play this progression, right? If we're still looking at strings two, three, four, right? We have. Something like this. Or. Right? Or. even right same progression just different voicings over you're playing the, the chords and if we want to do it let's say on the top three strings we could do something like this or even Let's say, right, even, there are so many ways you can play this and I encourage you guys to learn every way. Now, what's really happening, right, when we see this live during the Sod Rock tour? 
Well, John is singing, so he's not playing a lot of the chords. How I see it is that maybe one guitar could be doing the progression like this. Whereas second guitar could be doing Right? So let's loop that now and see how those two sound. So for guitar one, I do have some chorus engaged. Just to add a bit of movement, right? So let's loop that now and then we'll see how guitar two goes on top. Right, there's guitar one. Guitar two incoming. Huge sound, right? Just two guitar parts. Got a pick and strum. up and just do single strings. Check this out. So there's so many cool ways you can play this progression and have different, how do you say it, thicknesses of one progression, right? Just layering guitars. And we really heard that when the session on IG dissected Last Train Home. I think it was about like five or six progression parts and then in total about eight or nine guitar parts for the whole song, which is really, really cool how just sounds like one huge guitar in the recording. So that's the main progression. Pretty long part of the video. <laughs> now let's take a look at the pre-chorus verse, as well as this really cool keyboard progression that Greg Fillingains does. So let's go. So the chords for the pre-chorus slash the chorus part, that's what I'm calling it at least, <laughs> are as followed. Are a A, C sharp minor, E, A. Again, A, C sharp minor. Second time it changes to an F sharp minor. A, B. Back to your main riff. And it does that same progression both times after verse one and after verse two. But after the second verse, right, the same part before the guitar solo, Greg Fillingains does some great chordal work. And he's using some patch on a keyboard or whatever he's using, and it sounds huge. So check this out, this is what he's doing. Back 
back to the riff, right? But the main area of focus is this. B triad to C sharp, B to E, B, A. So this B is almost like a passing chord for the next chord progression, which is really, really cool. So we have A, And we, when you listen to the recording, it's pretty obvious that his voicings, right? Again, he's still playing A, C sharp, E, A. But how he's playing them is almost like a staircase. That's how I kind of hear it. He's climbing up higher voicings to build it up for the solo, which is really, really cool. So again... Again, the A, C sharp, F sharp minor, A, B. So let's do a quick loop, right, with one guitar strumming the main pre chorus chords, and then we'll play on top what Greg does. So check this out. So check this out. C sharp, E, now we add chorus and do Greg's part. Here's the fun part. Again. One more time. That's so cool. Right, he's getting A, higher E, high B, low A. So, so cool. So now, let's check out one more part which is one of my favorite parts, these stabs that John does that seem to be in position four with a bit of chorus, and then we'll dive into the solo section. So these stabs occur right before the guitar solo when John is singing, I'm on the last train running and I surrender, right? And it's almost as if he's playing and I surrender on the guitar strumming wise. So I just recorded three guitar parts playing the main progression. Let's see how that sounds and we'll add the stabs on top, right? Again, position four with some chorus. Let's see how it sounds. So cool. One more time. And it seems to me he's just playing the third and fifth of an E chord, this G sharp and this B, right? So simple, yet so cool. Over. Let's hear it one more time.
such a cool hidden gem in this recording that if it wasn't for the session on IG, I don't think a lot of us would have heard that part. So now, finally, let's check out some cool soloing ideas you can do over this main progression. So for the solo section, we're still leaning on this main chord progression, right? And what we're gonna call home is really our E major pentatonic scale. Right, as well as a bit of our minor pentatonic as we bend or hit diatonic note. And hint at this major third degree, right? Really, E major with a hint of minor pentatonic and minor pentatonic favoring this major third degree. That will be where you call home, right? So check this out. From the tube screamer and some chorus, we can see how it sounds in context. friend here is E major, right? And the very signature thing that Clapton and Mayer do really, really well is integrate some minor pentatonic feel and bends, right? But when bending up slightly to this major third degree, it makes it fit nicely over or under a major chord progression, if that makes sense. Well, all right, guys, that is today's episode, Mayor Theory, Last Train Home. This is such a cool song that has a lot of small details into it, right? That when added all together equal Last Train Home, an incredible opener to the Sob Rock album and a great single to release in anticipation for the album last year. Um, seeing him live, it's even better. We got a great solo when we saw him last week at the forum and just... A killer song. So with all that being said, if you enjoyed today's video, please press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.